Hi guys and welcome to this lens comparison between the EF 50mm f1.8 and the RF 50mm f1.8. Both lenses are straight away separated by about £100 or $100. Now this lens has been one of Canon's best sellers and rightly so, it's a brilliant little prime lens and very much worth the money. But if you own one of the mirrorless cameras and you don't have one of these lenses already, you want to buy one? That lens converter is £119 that you need with the EF lens, which makes both these lenses about the same price. Also, it's bigger and bulkier when on the camera, and when you compare that to the rather sexy RF 50mm, you can see that it doesn't look quite as good. The RF lens can shoot close at 0.3m against 0.35m on the EF lens. And that can come in real handy if you're the kind of photographer that likes to take close-up photos of nature or even if you're a portrait, wedding or even baby photographer. This could come in real handy. You've also got a control ring which is on the RF lens and that is really useful. You don't have it on the EF version. This means that you can control adjustments on the end of your lens like ISO, shutter speed, aperture and this can be really a good advantage and an extra customizable asset when you're taking photos. Now I know something that a lot of you are interested in is the difference in sharpness between the lenses. So this section of the video is dedicated to that. What I've done is I've got images that I've taken with both lenses that are the exactly same and I'm going to compare them together through the aperture ranges so that you can see the sharpness difference between both of them. On the left we've got the RF and on the right we've got the EF. Let's just zoom in to the middle and have a look at center sharpness. We're at f1.8 here and you can see that both lenses are almost identically sharp in the middle. There is very little difference. Now, when you bring it to the edge, as you might expect wide open at f1.8, there is some edge smoothness, which is to be expected. When we switch it up though to f2.8, we zoom in and take a look at the center. You can see once again, center sharpness is almost identical, but I do think there's a little bit of sharpness favor in the center with the RF version, which is now on the right hand side. When we start actually zooming this in and then bringing this towards the edge of the frame, we do notice something quite interesting. So dragging this to the edge, you notice that the EF version now has very soft, but the RF version, even though it's soft, it's not as soft as the EF lens. And it does remain a little bit sharper about third way through all the way to the edge. This is quite interesting. Now let's check this out at f4 to have a look how it performs at one of its sharpest apertures. The EF is on the left here and the RF is on the right. Once again, center sharpness is almost identical, but when we start dragging it across third way through the image, you suddenly start noticing that the EF lens starts getting soft, whereas the RF lens is still nice and sharp. You can actually see quite a big difference in the softness here against the sharpness of the RF lens. Now it's worth me mentioning guys, if you're looking for any of these lenses currently, you can actually check the links out in the description of the video where this helps support the channel if you do decide to buy any of the lenses through these links. Switching this up to f5.6, the center sharpness once again almost identical, maybe a little bit in favor of the RF again, but when we drag it across to that, that point here at the third way through the image, we notice the same thing is happening. You can see that softness in the image of the EF and it is really nice and sharp in the RF lens. There is a big difference here actually. So this is a really quite interesting finding that the RF lens is definitely sharper. It seems a third way through to the edge of the frame. This happened with all of the apertures that I tested in the video. The only difference was at f22 and f1.8 where they were both the same. Now I know you're probably thinking, how does this work in the real world environment? 
So let's take a look at some photos which I've took of both lenses together. In my opinion, both of these lenses take beautiful, sharp, crispy photos. And the thing that they share is nearly identical actually, is the color, the vibrance, and also the contrast. Both lenses are beautiful, contrasty, vibrant photos that they produce. And in the real world environment, as you're looking at these pictures right now, you're really probably struggling to tell the difference, maybe a little bit in exposure, but that's about it. So the sharpness really doesn't actually transfer much into the real world environment. Now there is some people watching this video that may need the extra sharpness, I appreciate that. But if you're someone looking to take just normal photos, it's not a big difference. When it comes to bokeh, both lenses pretty much identical to each other. This is the EF lens and then this is the RF lens. At this point, if you're watching the video and you're thinking about buying the RF lens, there's a couple of things you need to know. First up, the filter size on the RF lens is different. So if you've already got filters for your EF lens, that's something to think about. Also, when you're actually using the RF lens with your mirrorless camera, make sure you update the firmware. Otherwise, you will have compatibility issues. The truth is both the EF lens with lens converter and the RF 50 millimeter lens here are both great lenses. And when used in the real world environment, you're gonna struggle to notice any difference at all. My advice to anyone watching this video, if you already have the EF lens with lens converter, stick to it. You don't need to buy the RF lens. You're doubtful to notice the difference. But if you don't have any of these lenses and you have a mirrorless camera, get the RF lens for that extra sharpness because the price is pretty much the same anyway when you've got this lens converter with the EF lens. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video today as always. I always appreciate your support on the channel. Give the video a like or add any comments below. I'll be happy to you know, get into the questions after the video. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys joining the channel. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.